Hello everyone, this is Tailspin109 and welcome back to Let's Play Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Let's go to Dreamland. By the way, I still can't tell if I'm going crazy or the audio on this thing is just getting worse. Is this disc just aging or something? I, I really can't tell anymore. By the way, we finished the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard in the last video and now we're going to Dreamland. What mischief can be found in this sub-aquatic somnambulant realm? Dream bubbles. I'm surrounded by dream bubbles. I wonder what that means. Gary, what are you doing here? Wow. Oh, so I'm dreaming. Well, then first thing I'm gonna do is dream myself up a mustache. Ow! Thanks, Gary. It does make me look more rugged, doesn't it? Wow. More cats? Well, I could use more golden spatulas, but where should I start? Meow! Meow! You mean each dream bubble has a golden spatula in it? Meow! I'm ready! Meow! Yes, Gary, I'll be careful. I still think there's nothing wrong with the audio. Did that sound right to you? I don't know. I don't think it sounded that right. Whatever. I tried messing around with things. I couldn't figure out anything. Eh. Whatever. Not much I can do, I guess. Cause I'm trying for this platform to come by. Uh uh. This part can be a little tricky. Look at this platforming. Excuse me. I was pretty bad at this part when I was younger. I used to always misjudge the timing. Uh-uh. I'm gonna have to get across first or else I'm not safe. There we go. Now then. Oh, yeah, I remember. This is a pretty irritating one to get. Alright, so we gotta guide the ball in the right direction. I think I'm doing a pretty miserable job at that. Uh-uh, ugh. Yep, this might take a little bit of time. I still plan to get through this area in about two videos, so... Just going to... First of all, do a much better job aiming. Oh! Wow. Alright, come on. No! No, 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 no! Now I have to go all the way back to the beginning. All the way back to the beginning. I don't want. Ugh. This is gonna take too much time. I'm sorry. I'm just really mad right now. Ugh. Takes too long getting back. And because I'm impatient, yes, I am going to do that. Uh, you know what's too risky over here because then that happens <laughs> oh man there we go okay there now let's not mess up so much this time I kind of need to be on top of you. Or else I won't be able to get the golden spatula. Ugh. Trial and error process. I think so. There we go. We got it. 
Unfortunately, we're going to have to travel the pathway again. Ugh. Come on, I gotta get to the next area of this dreamland. Well, on the bright side, I'm still here. Surprise that the knockback actually helped me. Here it comes! Alright, here comes something easier. A slide. Eh, shiny objects are shiny objects. Just gotta get down safely. There we go. Oh yeah, you're going to play with shiny objects to get to the other dreams. And each one's followed by a challenge. Scorch Tiki always has something useful at the top. <laughs> you're not gonna bother me. Yeah, destroy them all! Alright. I think now we are ready to go into Sandy's dream, which is pretty much a ginormous slide. I think it's got three socks to find. Yeah, look at how big this slide is. Don't worry, there's plenty of checkpoints to go along. Wow, your dream is massive. Everything in Texas is big. Even dreams. Then you're just the right person to reach the spatula on top of that golden acorn. Yep. My dream, my rule. I'll get that spatula faster than a Texas jackrabbit crossing the four lane highway. Hooray! More Sandy talk. Ah, yeah, that's a good way to get plenty of shiny objects. Let's open the box. There. And let's go sliding Texas style. Woo! So, yeah, I want to be surprised if the rest of this video was just me going through this slide. I'll gain all the socks. Manure. Ugh. Okay, that's the first time I've ever done that. Let's go this way first. By the way, I'm going to try and go across every pathway to get all the socks that I can. I still think this slide's a little easier than the Kelp Forest one. Alright, there. More obstacle courses. Yep. I could do it in my sleep. You are asleep. <laughs> As I said, in my sleep. Well, there's a golden spatula out there for you if you make it far enough. I'll do it so fast, it'll make your head spin faster than a horny toad on a merry-go-round. Why can't I ever just dream normal dreams of world domination? Uh, because... Sandy dragged you into this dream. You didn't put yourself in here, Sandy did it herself, because she's a squirrel! So if you know what you're doing, you'll be fine. You see Texas down below? Don't fall down there, it's gonna hurt. Woo! That was fun. Oh, it's time! Alright, let's get rid of that. 
And, yeah, the enemies can be a bit tough to get rid of. <laughs> oh my gosh, suicide. Alright, G-Love. There we go. Uh, spatula is our reward. Let's take it. However, there is another thing we can get here. Something that caused me a lot of grief as a kid. A sock on the other side of this building. Go figure. It's... Chances are you're not gonna find that one. Whew. Alright, moving on. All right, back to the slide. Whoops, not what I meant to do. I think over here leads to a sock. Whoop. And of course, since it's hard to get up here, and at least a reward, you've got more obstacles to deal with. But yes, it does lead to a sock, which means there's just one more to find. And then the other socks are in other dreams, and such. Whoop! Oh yeah, I forgot about the cows that throw pies at you. I'm not sure what kind of pies they throw, but it's definitely a pie. Okay, well, they just pretty much let this sock out in the wide open. Whew. I'm skating. And that ought to be everything. Let's just see if there's like a purple shiny object on the other side of this. Oh, but this would have been the perfect opportunity. Oh, whatever. We're more than halfway through, actually. I'm surprised I'm getting through the slide as quickly as I am. Well. I guess I've got the spirit of Texas flowing through me. <laughs> Alright, back to business. Okay, hold on there. I wasn't ready. It might be a much longer slide than the Kelp Forest one, but for heaven's sakes, it's not nearly as difficult. And you're not dealing with the time limit either. So yeah, that makes it easier. Oh, I, I so desperately want to blink right now. Okay, I've never been this bad at this portion of things. I'm usually really good at this. All right, we are going to go inside the giant Texas skull. I don't know why. Is it in relation to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Which is a scary movie, by the way. I'm talking about the original. As the original is the only one that I've seen. It's really loud in this room. Oof. There we go. Whew. There. Well... We are almost there. And yeah, we can use our lasso to our advantage, so why not? And of course, get a few more shiny objects. Alright, it's right there. We did it uh, within one try. Okay. That is nice. And that's how a squirrel does it. I have a lot more time left than I thought. Super bounce. Is that for Squidward? I'm just going to assume that. Unfortunately, since I did not fail at any point, I can't get shiny objects from there. 
All right, well, let's just get out of here, I guess. Texas Ranger! There we go. Well, we're out of that dream. And now we're back in our own dream, which we're... This is most likely in relation to that one SpongeBob episode where SpongeBob enters everyone's dreams. Anyone remember that episode? And he sabotaged it, except for Patrick's. The quarter sabotaged his dream. Hmm. Am I really going to start this right now? I mean, I don't want this video to be too short. For heaven's sake, boy! Cover your ears! Mr. Crab? What are you doing in Squidward's dream? Hard time, boy. Or at least it feels like it. Do you think you can make it across this sheet of music to the golden spatula on Squidward's big nose? Don't worry, Mr. Krabs. I'll end this challenge on a high note. Uh, good luck, boy. When you get there, try to wake him up. I'm running out of aspirin. <laughs> yeah, we all know Squidward is not a good musician. He's in denial. Well, let's start, I guess. All right, here's yellow nodes. These are horrible nodes, and they will f collapse once you go on them. See, they're gone, but they reappear. And here's a sharp. Don't know why the sharps are out to attack. It's because Squidward's music is terrible, isn't it? Now, what do the blue notes represent? Decent notes? I have no clue. All right, now we have to deal with these notes. A scale! Scales are boring. It's pay that we always have to play scales. Alright, let's bring it to the next level. This world is really is interesting because every dream leads you to a different experience. And look, there's sock number four. Oh, brother. Wonder if I can see how to get there. Oh yeah, now the notes are starting to move. This is when it really starts to get tougher. There we go. And look at this. There's the sock that we're gonna have to get. There we go. Now we just gotta do this portion of things again. And yeah, I am rushing. Don't judge. Actually doing pretty good considering I'm rushing. Whee! Hey, this is a 3D platformer. You need some platforming challenges. And these are wide gaps, so make good use of your jumping abilities. There we go. Alright, we're almost there. This is going by all... Ooh! Big mistake. Alright. First fail on the last section, so that's not a big deal, really. 
on the bright side after this stream, I can end off the video. Go! I don't need that. Over there. I almost didn't make it. <laughs> well, it's not much further. I don't need to panic so much. There we go. Alright, we're gonna have to get onto this note and wait. There's the golden spatula. There we go. And yes, I am going to go for the purple shiny object. There we go. Alright. I'm out of here. Alright. That was really good progress. Okay. We shall explore the rest of the dreams in the next video. Until then, this has been Tales by 109, and have a nice day.